project is pumpkin launchers. In order to chunk uh, and, and launch a five pound pumpkin, uh, we need to engineer a trebuchet that could support and hold and move uh, at least 200 pounds. The base is perfect, the base is perfect. It's coming out of a bigger program called STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. STEM is a much larger program. It is national. Um, it's a big movement by the federal and state governments <laughs> to push science, techno uh, technology, engineering, mathematics uh, down to the schools, down to the local level, down to families. I saw a need for STEM-related recreational programs. Uh, so I decided to put a proposal together and uh, have three different programs this year. Uh, this one being the first, Pumpkin Launchers, where we're building a uh, pumpkin trebuchet. Well, the kids are middle schoolers, uh, and we actually have one of our CITs, counselors in training, who is a volunteer high schooler. Uh, in order to be a part of the program, you have to be a member at the center. There you go. Good job, uh, well, I'm actually really encouraged by uh, the amount of participation, the motivation, um, and the ingenuity of the kids here in Gaithersburg, specifically here at Robertson Park Youth Center and Old Town Youth Center. You know, the goal is just to expose kids to some cool stuff that they can do you know, with science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, um, and at the same time having fun. I know a lot of these kids, this is the very first time they have had experience with power tools and being able to use them in carpentry. So it's a really cool experience for a lot of these kids. Our goal is to launch pumpkin. Um, right around a, about a five pound pumpkin, it is uh, in three pieces. Well, the first piece is the base, the second piece is the actual frame that stands vertically from the base, and the other piece is the lever arm, the swing arm, uh, that holds the weight that actually chunks the pumpkin. There you Today's project is actually sponsored by the Wildlife Council and we're here at Isaac Walton Lee planting a rain garden to help prevent the water runoff from the street behind us here into their lake down at the bottom of this hill. The student volunteers are all members of the student union and also members of the ESOL SSL club at Gaithersburg High School. They are all earning student service learning hours for this project which is required for graduation. Every student has to have 75 hours to graduate from an MCPS high school. The students that are here today are phenomenal. To give up their time on a day off of school when they could have slept in is a um, pretty amazing thing that they're out here working and I think that it's more than just earning the SSL hours. I think they have fun doing this and truly believe in the purpose of it. I think socially this is a really great activity for them that they get to be engaged in a project together um, with their peers. So the STEM portion of this project um, has been partially the learning experience of why are we planting this. Um, a handful of students from today's program will also continue on in the coming weeks to work on a reflection piece that will involve um, a how-to video and using PowerPoint um, so that they can take the knowledge that they've learned today and teach it on to their peers. They will also learn more about the mapping process that takes place in planning an activity like this. In our case today, it's much more of an environmental science focus. Um, there still is a, you know, a great deal of science here. It, um, it's hard science still, but not necessarily the um, mechanics and engineering you would typically think of. 